the music industry is that once you start exposing the secrets of the Illuminati, uh, secrets of the secret societies, how they do these rituals, how you sell your soul to the devil, anything that they are against, they know how to use the same thing that made you famous to make your ass unfamous. Now, the likes of this has happened to so many people until it's crazy not to notice there's something wrong with it. Let's look at Cat Williams, for instance, or how he said the shit he saw in Hollywood. Then they put out all this crazy shit, had us thinking Cat Williams was this craziest motherfucker in the world. And he's on all these drugs. And then you have to look at what they did with Dave Chappelle when he started saying all this crazy shit. This is like a clone Chappelle that we seeing. And there's a lot of other people that have tried to stand out against the industry, like Tupac Shakur, who was talking about, you know, artists like Dr. Dre, you know, saying Dre was gay, Quincy Jones was gay. The next minute we look, a lot, look around, the late, great Tupac Shakur was murdered, you know, and a lot of shit was done after that. But most recently was what they did to the legacies of Prince, Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston, probably the greatest of all time and what they were doing. And all of them went against the grain on their way to their grave. And we see they tarnished their legacies, claiming that uh, Mike loved little boys, Prince was a druggie, and that Whitney just wasn't nothing but a straight up crackhead in their eyes. So now here we are to YK Osiris, who recently made a video saying that he know as fact that the industry is full of devils and once you sign that dotted line any contract that you sign hey you basically then sold your soul and it went viral and what happened not even a week later he is in jail now yk osiris is out preaching telling people to change their lives he hasn't stopped and he's finally spoken out about the incident and he says he's a million percent innocent the link for this article will be in the description now According to TMZ, YK Osiris denies allegations he's assaulted his girlfriend. So YK Osiris venomously denies allegations he choked and bit his girlfriend at his birthday party and the singer claims he has witnesses ready to testify on his behalf. We broke the story. Osiris was arrested last week in Atlanta on a felony charge of aggra aggravated assault by strangulation after his girlfriend told cops he choked her and bit her face at his September B-Day bash. Sources close to YK tell TMZ the allegations made by his former flame are 100% false and there was never any type of assault. We're told the singer has friends who were at the party and intend to come forward as witnesses to prove his innocence. We're told Cyrus is saying there is also physical evidence to prove he didn't assault the girlfriend. As for why she made the allegations, our sources say YK has no idea. And that's the part of this story that makes everybody wonder that this is something that a higher power sent against him because he has no idea why this woman would go out and do this. As reported, the woman told cops why K started beating the crap out of her after she confronted him over a picture she found on his phone allegedly showing another woman. <laughs> and here's his mugshot. According to our sources... YK turned that into him, turned himself into the cops because he's confident he'll be cleared of any wrongdoing. We're told Osiris was released from the Fulton County Jail over the weekend. YK's attorney, Gab Banks, tells us YK Osiris, Osiris maintains his innocence and looks forward to his day in court to defend against all of the allegations against him. Now, this brother, YK Osiris, don't need to put his hands on no chick. Because he has all these young girls going buku bananas over him. I mean, if you go to some of his social media outlets, he have women that's in their 50s throwing their asses at him. So he don't have to trip over no female, which I knew that was some bullshit when I heard it. Um, even if he was caught cheating, I don't think he would trip. He just would tell the kick rocks. He got another bitch right standing next to her. That's how players play. So I knew it was some bullshit, but to see him come out and feel this confident, you know, maybe we'll get the full story, and maybe we won't. So, like this video, leave your comments, share this on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, 
as well as Bogle. Hit that notification button because I'm always uploading, but more importantly, subscribe.